hello <laughs> i hope you guys are doing well i have returned i don't know why i left i won't lie to you i was on a real good roll other things come along and you can't always spread yourself very far and cover everything uh so therefore youtube has been taking a back seat i obviously have like instagram pinterest tiktok and now threads actually i don't post on there very often i won't lie to you i haven't actually done a youtube video since april maybe or march maybe it was march but a lot of things have happened since then i went to wales and walked up mount snowden that was fun oh and i also made a group chat with my friends amy jess chloe and maria called gullies uh, group chat the guys group chat i'll pop a link down below if you guys are interested in finding anything more about it but basically we get so many messages and like questions about how how we meet new friends in our 20s you guys wanted some not you necessarily but you might actually be in the group chat right now i don't know i don't know who i'm talking to i need to do my makeup at the same time because i'm also going to show you some bits that i got from asos in the next segment if you don't want to listen to all of this fair enough the video is further along i'll put like a little section that you can just skip to so me and my friends decided to set up a um facebook group chat which was basically to help our followers make friends with girls that are in their town in their city we've got about four thousand members on there now which is so so sick before we decided before sorry i've drunk like tea beforehand when i then talk really quickly start burping and it's a whole thing i feel like i'm from rick and morty what's his name I think it's just rick isn't it like the people on there are so so lovely and everyone wants to do the same thing everyone's on there to make friends and everyone's on there to just have a good time and it's so wholesome and lovely then we decided to actually make a pottery tour of england i don't know when this will be going up i think all of the dates probably will have been done by now but definitely check out the facebook for any other events because we're going to be putting on quite a few throughout the year um but we started off with a pottery tour because i mean why wouldn't you this foundation by the way is so sick it's the maybelline superstay 24 hour skin tint it's so so nice for like a little light coverage moment um i'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder so i don't know how weird my makeup is gonna look by the end of this but my mirror is here it'll probably look a bit weird if i'm just talking to you like this whilst i'm doing this but we started off with a pottery painting tour so last week was our first leg so we started off in norwich which is really close to me it's like an hour away it's east anglia so it was like the closest one out of all of them to my home and then we went up north last week which was absolutely ridiculous we went to where did we start off in we started off in birmingham on sunday and then we went to durham norwich black no norwich birmingham norwich birmingham durham york york durham blackpool and then we came back down and i got home at about well i didn't even get home i got to um london that thursday morning at about 4am i was in bed at 4am which was absolutely ridiculous but it was so so much fun i met some of you guys there that it was chloe it was chloe and i met her in york and she you're probably gonna be watching this being like oh she's talking about me but it was so cute because she's like i watch you on youtube and you haven't you haven't posted anything i was like no i haven't it was actually so cute to see some of you guys that um follow me in real life like it's really strange when like i post stuff online and you guys obviously enjoy you enjoy it so you follow um but then to see you in real life and for you guys to be like ah i follow you i'd be like what the fuck that's so strange times that by x amount of people that i met it was just absolutely mental but so so lovely um but yeah that kind of gave me a kick up the ass because i was like wait i have like i have got time to dedicate to it but not not oodles amounts because you know as i said i am now also trying to run an events company but back to the facebook group chat basically um the pottery painting tour so next week we are in east sussex bournemouth berkshire and i feel like there's another one nottingham that's right at the end and it's just gonna be so so sick so everybody that's there is obviously like i said part of the 
group chat on Facebook or on Instagram if they're not on Facebook they're on Instagram as well uh, we give you like a private link to the tickets so everybody that is there has come from the group chat everyone's there for the same thing which is so nice and it makes it less awkward I think anyway because you're all there to make friends you're all there to mingle and have a good time basically which is just so wholesome and nice and everyone is so wholesome and nice which is really weird because I don't know I don't know who I was expecting to turn up but you're not going to be assholes, are you? So yeah, it was just really, really sick. And obviously, like I said, we've done the first leg. We've got a lot of like sick events in talks for like the next couple of months as well. Like we are having so much fun, like coming up with ideas for events and stuff. And if you guys are part of the Facebook group or the Instagram and you've got like ideas of events that you'd love us to, to see come into fruition, then do let us know. Obviously, if you're not part of it and you would like to be part of it, I'll whack a link down below. And I think the events will be done by now, but like I'm obviously doing the second leg next week. I don't think I'm gonna have time to upload this by the time that the second leg is coming along, but yeah, you, know, you never know, you never know. That's kind of been what's been consuming me um, the last couple of months. So obviously as well, like work-wise, it gets really, really quiet at the beginning of this year, like on Instagram and things like that. Whereas now it's getting very, very busy. It's the new tax year, it's summer. All the brands are coming at me like, you make some terrific ads, please. I'm like, yeah, okay, fair enough, no problem. Um, and I'm not with management anymore either. So it's all for me. It's all the admin, all the fun admin stuff and talking about money. And I <laughs> creating content on um, Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok. And they're a lot like quicker forms of content. So they've been kind of like, this is why YouTube has then taken a back burner because I have to film the, the video and the videos are a lot longer than on somewhere like TikTok. If I wanted to do a TikTok vlog, which is what I actually did I'm going off the spiral again. Basically, I went on a Virgin Voyage cruise. Yes, sorry, not me. So me and the girls went on a Virgin Voyage cruise, um, which was so, so sick. And I could have vlogged it, this is the thing, but I just didn't. Instead, TikTok vlogs have been a lot quicker because they can only be like three, four, three minutes, maybe max 10. My videos on TikTok are like two minutes tops. Um, so obviously they're a lot quicker to film and a lot quicker to edit and then upload. Whereas YouTube, it literally takes maybe like half an hour to film a video and then a couple of hours to edit and edit in a way that I enjoy. And then you've got to upload it and then you've got to add all the links down below and all the information and descriptions and tags. And then you've got to promote it. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And obviously when the, there's all this happening also um it just kind of like took a back burner but i would enjoy to get back on it because i do enjoy chatting so much tut with you guys i know that you stuck around and you enjoy you obviously are here you enjoy the the chaos that ensues from me um that ensues from me radiates from me you know yeah that's what i thought went on a virgin voyage cruise that was so sick um i could have done like some videos on here to be fair of like what i wore on there if you guys would be interested in that i can always like find the pictures and then like i've got videos actually maybe i'll make them shorts i'll upload shorts and then you can see like the outfits that i wore on the cruise because i didn't take any like landscape image that's fucking that's quite something um i didn't take any landscape videography or imagery because i was very much on my tiktok instagram hype but like i'll upload my shorts from um the cruise so if you guys would like to go and see them obviously look on the short section of my youtube videos my youtube channel and you'll be able to see that or if not go and follow me on the old socials go and follow me on the old instagrams but yeah that was really really sick and i mean christ if, if someone's going to ask you if you want to go on a free cruise you go on a free cruise you're not silly you're not gonna play silly buggers and not go on it are you exactly thank you so although everybody and their mum has gone on one i am one of the mums that have been on one which is quite like a once in a lifetime experience you know oh my god it got verified on instagram that was quite something I didn't realise I could have done it ages ago. I didn't actually pay for it. I could show you that I haven't paid for it, but I don't actually know how I could show you that I haven't paid for it. But I applied for it because I realised that the BBC actually did an article on me back in like 2021 when I was blowing up something crazy on Instagram. She like reached out and we did like a little mid-size article literally in 2021. So I could have been verified in 2021, which is so annoying. But I'm glad that I've done it now and I've got a little blue tick. Obviously like everybody else has, but it's still just quite fun isn't it? I feel like a Weatherspoon's plate today with this top. It's from um, Hollister. I'll show you a proper little like 
I'll show you a little better close up um, when I'm sat down and everything showing you the other stuff from ASOS because this is actually from ASOS um, but it looks like House of CB maybe not like the same quality like I think House of CB would probably be I don't actually know because I haven't bought anything from House of CB if you'd like me to for a video perhaps do let me know they're so expensive though I really couldn't warrant to keep any of it um, I'm excited to get back on this because as I said YouTube I enjoy to create content for because I can just like reel off my thoughts and feelings and just kind of like chat constantly uh, which is much to my annoyance than when I edit it because I'm like Abby don't have to talk to it like at all of this I'm talking for literally nearly 10 minutes about things that probably aren't very interesting but I just continue and continue and continue and then when I edit I'm like cut it out cut it out cut it out also let me know if there's any sort of content that you definitely want to see ASAP I know some of you said about like supermarket clothing TU is definitely popping off at the minute so I definitely want to do a video on TU clothing but let me know of any requests like I'm definitely gonna have like a plan of action I'm definitely not gonna be as consistent as I was before I don't want to go too ham too quickly and then I get fizzled out but yeah hit me up let me know let me know now on to the fun stuff clothing so I have recently done a little order on ASOS and I am Ugh. I'm actually quite disappointed by it, I won't lie, it's not the best one I've ever done. First thing first though, I had to show you this top. As I said, it's from Hollister. Excuse the leggings, they're from Love Leggings. Um, this is so, so flipping cute. As I said, it's kind of giving like House of CB vibes, but it's from Hollister. I absolutely love it. It's kind of more of like a just like t-shirt-y material, but I'm not wearing a bra and you can't see any sort of like, you know, boob action. I count that as a win. And I really love the sort of like design of it, the little like cut out. And this, I don't know if you could maybe like have them off sleeve a little bit. I don't know if that would look a bit strange, um, but I've had it like this. I love the little like peplum detail here. And then it's got like a, as you can see, it's got like a little stretchy back here as well. You've got like the, the shirt material, which is so nice and it makes it so, so comfortable. There's nothing worse than when you have a top like this and then it's like a zip up or just like, not comfortable you know when you've been eating if you've been eating i don't know how much or like so nice and comfortable you sat down or you know just like cutting about doing your thing it's just nice to have that little bit of like elastication big win from hollister got it in size l and it fits like a dream so i did get quite a couple of these little sort of like cute tops because i haven't got a lot of them like i've got crop tops like graphic tees that sort of thing but i haven't got just nice silly tops um, so I got this one as well. There was another one from ASOS that I got that was kind of like a corset top. It was so, so see-through and the quality was absolutely horrific. Sent it straight back. Straight back! I got this one in a size 14 and yeah, I just think she's so, so cute. Look at the little floral details and again, like that broidery stuff. I love it. Fantastic. With like a little midi skirt. Fantastic. Talking of midi skirts, as I said to you guys earlier, the um, ASOS girlies got my order wrong. So I basically ordered this skirt. Yeah, it would have looked incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna have to reorder it again though because they sent me the top. So it does come as a cohort, as you could see from that photo, it comes as a cohort. So you got this top. It's a size 14 apparently. I mean, I'm quite bewildered by it. I might keep it, but also I don't need it. And they think that it's a skirt and it's not, it's the top. And I think the skirt was like 38 pounds. It was top shop. Yeah, I really like the detail of the little cutouts of this bow. Cute, love the color, would be sick on a skirt, wouldn't it? Which is what I ordered. And I'm not even gonna try and entertain it because otherwise if I will enjoy it, I will have to keep it. And it'll cost me like 40 pounds for a top, but I'm not paying 40 pounds for a top. Thank you, that's case closed. On midi skirts though, I also saw this gorgeous lilac satin it's a maxi skirt rather than a midi skirt which is so so gorgeous the creases are really looking quite spectacular on this little goodie this little goodie this little baddie got it from Topshop again on the asos website and got it in a size 14 and i love the color of it i think it looks spectacular potentially with this i thought would look really really cute or just by itself as like a little cop top a cop top a crop top, white bandeau, black bandeau. Literally, I love myself a midi skirt anyway, so this isn't really much of a surprise. I wanted to add another one to my collection. Couldn't find anyone vinted, so to ASOS we go. And obviously, Topshop isn't very, isn't very cheap. They have so many different colours in these, though. I am tempted to get a couple more because uh, there's a, a lovely, lovely blue. I might try and find them on vinted though, because like the price of them on Topshop are absolutely nuts. Like I'm not just. 
just a bit much. Of course it is the season. It's the season of gingham. Yeah. Um, so I got myself a little gingham dress. It's from a brand called Influence. Are you from Influence? Yes, I am. I got it in a size 14 again, and it's so, so stunning. Look at those ruffles. So, so cute. I'm gonna shoot with Guy tomorrow, hmm, if the weather picks up. And I think this is just gonna look so, so cute. We're going to like a little gardens hall sort of place, and it's stunning. It's got a little tie up at the back detail and a lot of elastication here as well. Um, and it's like a little midi sort of situation and it's so so stunning. I love the orange. I don't think I would have worn orange as a blonde. That's a lie I'd wear any colour really as any any form of hair colour. Stunning. Stunning. This isn't groundbreaking information. Of course I enjoy a little gingham moment in summer. Of course I do. I actually wanted to show you guys this as well because I definitely would have shown, wouldn't have shown you this on here. I would have shown you it over on Instagram and stuff but obviously I don't know if you guys come from here, there or anywhere. But basically, monkey. Yeah. Monkey have this little like shirt dress on the uh, ASOS website. It wasn't available on Monkey so I checked ASOS. Absolutely beside myself. Look at that. Sorry, you've got the purple, the green, the yellow, the pink, the orange. Like, it's stunning. I absolutely love it. I'm beside myself. I'm actually going to do a um, monkey try on as well. Maybe for like my next video or the one after because I've got a couple of bits here that I've ordered. It was a little while ago. It will be a little while ago for you guys when you watch this. But I love a little bit of monkey. And it was a very gingham heavy order as well. So if you guys are really into your gingham or you want some bright, fun, colourful gingham items definitely go and check out that video and definitely go and check out monkey for checked gingham vibes got this in a size large and she's absolutely stunning i love her very much and i will also be shooting that tomorrow and it literally it was in the sale as well for like 12 pounds yeah monkey sometimes can be quite expensive i think originally this was maybe like 30 i don't know if there's any sizes left because it wasn't available on monkey like i said but there was like one or two sizes left on asos when i ordered this you might have to keep an eye out I'll link it down below for you, don't you worry. I'll link it down below for you, Queens, don't worry. Back onto cute tops. As I said, I was on a mission for cute tops and I saw this beauty. If I can sort her out. Again, got her in a size 14. I don't enjoy how the straps sit on me. Hang on, sorry, let me just get a little close up of this. I love the little detailing. I don't know if you can see here so so gorgeous love the little tie detail i love the like colors and everything like that again got it in size 14. the cutout here just looks a bit peculiar i'll try it on obviously so you can see what i mean but yeah i would have liked it to have been i don't know i would have liked the sleeves to have been like this so you can't see like this bit whereas it's kind of a little bit further along here and it just looks a bit strange in my brain maybe i'm being weird about it obviously you guys tell me if i am being weird about it it's just started raining and i'm talking about summer tops that's fantastic that's so so fantastic i really hope that that sorts itself out tomorrow morning otherwise i'm gonna be screwed fantastic and then i actually got a couple of skirts so these two were actually like panic purchases because basically i'm going to a festival next weekend it's truck festival i'm going with a brand try and guess the brand from this i'm going to tell you what brand it is until i do it um but i'm going to truck festival with them i had to match the colors of the brand so i got a little rah rah skirt and again i'm not too sure on this i think if it was like a pleated skirt or even like a dress form, I would have enjoyed it, but I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board or have a look and see something in my wardrobe because this just isn't isn't happening with me. I got this in a size 14. It fits really nice as well because it's got like an elasticated back. It's really, really nice, but the length's a bit peculiar. I don't think I enjoy it. Maybe with like a basic top, I would have enjoyed it, but I, could, I did actually try it on like with no top. I had like just like a bra on and I was like, mm, don't enjoy that. So maybe I should have like popped the outfit together first before shitting on it. But I feel like it's just giving, what is it giving? It's giving, oh, what was it? Toilet holder or something. It's not, it's not correct, is it? No, Miss Selfridge. Miss Selfridge, bestie, do better. I also would enjoy ASOS to do better as well. Yeah, isn't this so sick? It's a score. However, do you know what's annoying about it? Is that it's shorts at the back. And the quality of it as well is like really thin t-shirty material. Like I don't know if you, you'd be able to tell me just giving it to you like this. Really thin material and 
obviously want to go to a festival i could probably it it could maybe work again got it in a size 14 maybe i needed to get a size up for it but i just think that the back's just gonna look really really sus but the colorways are really cute again if you had it on like a midi dress form or a cute top instead i think this would look really really cute as a score just ain't working for me unfortunately and that is everything that is literally everything i have ordered from asos some are l's and some are wins. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think. This has just been really cute to just talk to a camera again. It's just been really strange, but also, I don't know, I enjoy chatting shit in my room with you guys for about half an hour and then just kind of like being on my way, you know? I hope you guys have enjoyed me coming back. I hope me on your screens, whichever screen it may be, uh, has been delightful. It's been delightful having you here. You know, not talking back. It's been delightful. No, I wish you did talk back. So, I've just realised I've forgotten to show you something. Wait, hang on. I forgot to show you something. I forgot to show you this gorgeous little number from Daisy Street. Look how stunning it is. Isn't it me in jumper form? It's me in jumper form. You just need a purple on there and it's me. I saw this earlier in the year and I really, really wanted it. But there weren't any sizes available. Only like the curve 18 and 20 sizes were available. Sorry if this is making you feel weird. Um, and then I forgot about it. Saw it again. And I was like, it's all in stock. So I went and got it. Because as soon as it gets a little bit chilly, the nights start drawing in. And it gets a little bit colder. I normally get a bit scared. I, I get a bit scared. And I go into my neutral queen phase, but actually, that's not me. So I'm really, really excited to be gathering jumpers and knits for this autumn. That means that I won't be having a bit of a flap about what to do with my style and what to what what to wear. So that's part one. I think I got a size 14 in this, did I? Yeah, I got a 14. Just FYI. Yeah, this has been nice hasn't it? I hope you guys have enjoyed. Also, thank you for 10k. Not me with 10,000 subscribers. Do I get a plaque for that? No, it's 100k, isn't it? 90,000 more to go! <laughs> I am happy with all of you guys, actually. I am quite happy with you. I think you can stick around. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you kicking about at some point in the future. No, I'll see you soon.